Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we are actually looking into the top 5 features in AutoCount 2.0. These features are actually not sorted in any form of order because it's always dependent on the nature of your business. If you'd like to know more and in depth of each feature, you can actually click the link below in the description. Alright, so let's jump into it. In number 5, this will be the first thing that most AutoCount users will notice. So in AutoCount 2.0, they have finally introduced an interactive dashboard which is really pleasing to the eyes and also really useful as it is also customizable to your requirements. In number 4, AutoCount has finally added a new feature which was really high on our customers' wish list and that is the introduction of graph and charts. So if you come here, we just add here, we can select based on the predefined graph and charts, say example debtors and creditors aging, okay, okay. And then what happens is the chart will then appear for you and is based on your requirements and is updated on a real-time basis. Feature number 3 will now give users a bird eyes view of the entire document flow. With the introduction of this one called a view flow, users can now identify all the interrelated transactions in one single view and you can actually click and zoom in to go into the particular transaction. So for feature number 2, we really find this module helpful when we are looking to get our warehousing or purchasing department involved in our accounting system. So this module is what we call a purchase request. All right? So in this module, users can actually request for any items from either the same supplier or different supplier on one particular screen. So we can select medicine A, we can select here, I want to say for Asper, I can even say I want 100 pieces. And next item, I can select here, I can select say product A. I want one piece, I want from a Asper or I can even select from a different supplier. Alright, so the best part about this feature is also there is an approval user function. So this approval user can actually approve a particular purchase request before it can be generated into a purchase order. And in number one, what happens is we actually find this feature really useful if you prepare quotations through AutoCount and have situations where client will request for quotation amendments. So this function is called advanced quotation module. So with advanced quotation, now we can actually create multiple quotations and revisions and the system will actually keep track for you the different revisions. So if a customer say, okay, I want back the revision number zero, I can come in here, I can actually generate the particular quotation again. All right, so if I don't want, I can actually come back here, I can go to re revision number two, and come in here and we can actually generate the uh, revision number two and what are the items that they requested for. So these are the top five features which we think can really help businesses with their everyday operations. So do like and subscribe to help us reach more people organically. Thanks.